All right, guys. Whoops. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, our, my Luigi's Mansion playthrough for 3DS. This is, and we're continuing on the Hidden Mansion, going into Area Two. If you haven't seen the first part, you should uh, start watching from there, so you get an idea of how different this game is from the from the GameCube. I kind of touched on a couple of things before. Actually, there's some money that I forgot to get. Let me go get those real quick. Because, uh, check chandeliers, they'll definitely have money. Okay. So, um... I actually looked up a list. And it's like a list of, uh, Speedy Spirit locations, because they're, they totally put them in, like, different locations than before. Like this one. There we go. Well, forget it, because this is not happening. I'm already, like, a third dead. Well, I, yeah, that's like one of the new locations, and unfortunately, I just don't believe it's worth getting. So yeah, they're they're being very very relentless. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pay attention not to get damaged any further. Oh, for God's sakes, you pieces of crap. Okay, what even hit me there? Nope. You know what? I'm gonna have to complain again, because I hate... I hate the freaking C stick in this game. And when I say C stick, I'm referring to the I'm referring to like the right stick used to change Luigi's movement or his uh, angle. It's it's like the worst thing ever made by Nintendo. Like, next to the Wii U, probably. <laughs> okay, but no, seriously. It's pretty bad, like... I would never even recommend something like this. I don't even know how this idea got passed to be used for a 3DS. <laughs> like, I just don't get it. Okay, but anyway. See, there's money there, there's not. Okay, that was not as bad. <sighs> Oh man, and that Speedy Spirit was not worth getting. <laughs> he didn't even drop a gem. He just dropped like a couple of pearls and that was it. 
Okay. So before I do anything, I'm gonna check something. There are there are to note that um, there are some speedy spirits that you can only get during the blackout section. Um, this one doesn't exist anymore. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. More health is always nice. Okay, I was trying to get that before. Okay, I don't know how you missed that with your flashlight. Or your vacuum, for that matter. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do this. Yeah, you're not escaping me this time. Oh my god, I almost had him right there. Oh my god, how did I get away that time? He literally just had one health. Yeah, these guys just throw bananas everywhere, especially since there's like three of them at once. If there's like any way to get them in this like corner, that would have been super helpful. Um, yeah. I was gonna demonstrate something, but I probably don't have any reason to do it because it's pointless. <laughs> um, and just kind of further proves my point about how much this vacuum sucks compared to this game. <laughs> so, you notice how I'm interacting with this poster from all the way over here? Well, what if I told you you had the ability to get, to suck up this poster from all the way from where I'm standing in the original game? Because you could. <laughs> now they just, it just, it's just completely reduced. Anyway, we're gonna release the booze. And, uh, I'm kind of just ignoring the plot from this game, because it's not that uh, interesting, I guess. <laughs> uh, basically, like, I think it was, like, said that the Boos are responsible for releasing all the ghosts from their portraits, and, and then there's a portrait ghost that's responsible for creating all the ghosts that you catch in the mansion. Um, he just paints them to life. And this is where he's telling us, You got a new uh, feature on your Game Boo Horror. It's the Boo Radar. And this is one of those mechanics that they polished and like fixed from the original. Because the original... I'm actually going to save real quick. Here, I'll say your game. <laughs> That's a, tor her a horrible toad impression. Okay, so... Basically pointing me to this painting, probably. Yep. And there's a new... Um... I don't know what you call it, but... 
I guess another major difference between this version and the PAL version of Hidden Mansion. This Boo, he just has a health upgrade from normal Mansion, but in the PAL version, apparently they just randomly put a Boo with like... They just randomly start you off with a Boo that has like over... Uh, I forget how much health he had. He probably had like 100 health or something, and he was like a speedy Boo. Like, he was super fast, and you would chase him around. But in this game, no, they just have a health upgrade. They're all the same. So I'm doing a technique called arm, arm pumping, and it's what we use to catch booze quite effectively because all it does is just stun lock booze into place, and you, and um, it just helps. Oh wow, apparently he just switched locations like that. Yeah, it's just used to uh, help boo help keep booze into place by stunlocking them while doing damage. Oh, right. I forget. Here we go. Alright, so that's three boos down. I'm actually going to um, take you through this route that we speedrunners take. <laughs> So, we don't actually go back to the area, we don't go to the Area 1 hallways until we have to fight the twins again. Or, not again, but you know. We go back there when we're ready to fight the twins. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's in the chair, wow. No, he's not. Oh, you're right next to the chair, okay. The issue sometimes is that he just cackles a bunch and then eventually he's just gonna be immune to the stun lock and just run away. That's just something I have to keep in mind. They'll escape, like, eventually. Regardless of how much damage you do. Okay, that kind of worked out. So you remember how ghosts in the old, in the normal mansion, the booze would have like 300 HP. So you can imagine how much of a health up increase that they get from <laughs> this normal, from this hidden mansion. Oh, whoops. Oh well. Oh yeah, with the exception of hallway ghosts, because their health is not changed. Okay, just checking. Okay, it would have been, like, totally evil of them just to hide a mu hidden mushroom. Okay. There you go. Okay, so, going into the fortune teller room. And so, we're actually coming up to the next speedy spirit in the game. Oh, that's weird. I think I'm gonna need to check this drawer again, because there's supposed to have something, but I could be wrong on that. And with this, it says, drawer on the right side. Oh, but that's only during blackout. Okay, never mind. So I don't think anything has changed in this room.
Ghosts still spawn in their usual location. Okay, there we go. Yeah, doing doubles is not that easy as I make it look. <laughs> you have to actually kind of just focus on one ghost at a time while trying to catch the others. So if you just kind of like focus your attention on the one ghost that you have in the pair or group, um, yeah, you have to just basically continue do da doing damage regardless of which ghost you're catching. And then... At that point, you can catch the other ones that are attached to your vacuum. Okay. I guess we'll grab this. Here's our elemental. Fire! Oh, Jesus. Uh, I can't do much with that thing around. Okay. Okay, there we go. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of easy once you understand it. You have to just hold L and pump the R button every 10 HP, give or take. It kind of looks like this. What's interesting, though, is that it looks like his vacuum pulls out much more quickly than it does in the original. Because it kind of looks like when you're R-pumping, it does. It looks like this. Oh, no. Not quite. I I can't really demonstrate it, but it's, it's definitely a lot faster in this game. Okay. So we're lighting the fire, just uh, lighting the candles to get the key in this room. Okay. So I thought there was supposed to be like a gold bar in that drawer, but I guess not. So, we'll just not worry about that. Okay. Oh, before I forget, there's a couple of speedy spirits that I can get right now. This one works only before the blackout. So let me see if I can find... I may have to just eliminate all the potential threats in this room. <laughs> I don't think I can, or uh, I don't think I'm that worried about it though, but let's see, is it this one? Okay. Okay. And there's the blue gem. I think I'm mostly just gonna go for speedy spirits that have gems, because they give the most money. Okay. Yeah, gems and pearls are very important to get, like, um, the, uh, rank. The, that, that, that helps determine what the rank, your ranks will, your rank will be. So I'm gonna definitely attempt to try and get as many big pearls as I can. Alright, so I'm gonna do something a little differently. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Sparkies are new. I mean, they're not new, but they don't normally appear right there. Okay. Hopefully I can get this guy. Thank you. Alright, there's our second green gem, I think. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't believe I just spawned that thing again. Okay, should be fine here.
I can't believe I just dodged that thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I just dodged that poison mushroom. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, uh... Just remembered, I think there's supposed to be like a gem. Yep. Alright, so there's a gem in that bucket. Still. And there's supposed to be money in here, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, so let's do this room real quick. Actually, I'm just gonna let him go. There we go. Okay, what's next? Oh! There we go. Yeah, you kind of have to improvise if you want to get fast. <laughs> okay, I don't really know for sure where he went. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, let's go grab Mario's hat from the washer. Oh, hey, it's not there. Yeah, they changed Mario's hat location. They had changed Mario's, like, uh, missing items. Like, the locations of them. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. So yeah, you can just get rid of those doors by setting them on fire. I was really just trying to check this drawer, but whatever. Um, so yeah, Mario's hidden items are relocated around the mansion. So that's what I mean, you have to like, rediscover, or re, um... What's the word? <laughs> Re-explore. Okay, so I don't think this is different. Oh, it is different, right. But I'm just gonna activate the hole right off the bat. Uh, I don't believe there's a speedy spirit in here. Doesn't look like it. The next one we should be finding is at the conservatory. So, yeah. So yeah, it's like I've said, the wiggle technique does sometimes work, you just have to be really quick about it. Okay, he's not there. Okay, now let's grab the treasure and then leave. Okay, so yeah, I'm trying my best to, like, utilize this setup without jiggling the 3DS too much. Uh -huh. 
Also, can someone explain to me why Luigi needs to pause every time he picks up a gem or, like, any item? I just didn't- I just don't quite understand why that needs to be a thing. Okay. So now we should be heading to the conservatory. Whoops. Whoops. 